I am uh, just outside Greensboro this afternoon with my good friend Simon Solomon and his beautiful bike here in his great garage called the Taj Garage. Uh, it's uh, filled with motorcycles and this is one of his favorites. Simon? Good to see, see you, man. He has got a beautiful bike today built by Kendall Johnson. Well, yes, actually we did it in collaboration with Kendall Johnson. We have a company and it's named Harley Civilized. And we, we came at a stage actually a few years ago and we said, yeah, let's build a bike that, um, that has a lot of power, that a lot of focus on the engine, and we know that's where Kendall is best. And so we uh, worked together and the whole design and the applications uh, uh, that you see here. So this motorcycle uh, won a biker build-off uh, that was held in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, we won $100,000 with it at that time, so. Wow. Much better than a $3 trophy, as we say. So, <laughs> well, hey, if you start on the whole bike, it is a long motorcycle. Uh, in, in total, it's 11 and a half feet in, 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 in length, and we call the bike blade. Everything comes off points, and, uh, uh, and as you would look at a blade uh, of sorts, and that gave us the dimensions and, the, and also kind of a, a real Celtic appeal. And our, our headlight is actually built into the tank. Uh, it, it shines through our, our front forks and it works very well, but it, it is one of those things that uh, keeps it hidden in, in, in its vein and, and, and of course uh, adds to the lines of the motorcycle. The brake lights are LEDs that are incorporated into the metalwork, so Actually, unless you hit the brakes uh, or uh, your running lights, you, they can't be seen. Maybe there's no brake. Uh, it's all internal throttle, uh, internal clutch, uh, so uh, there's no wires. This uh, engine, uh, it's an s, &S engine uh, with uh, modifications done by Kendall. Uh, looking even as we look at, at the rocker boxes, that's all been custom, custom done. Uh, all the uh, fins are diamond edged, uh, more importantly is the power. The other thing that one will notice specifically is the uh, carburetors. These are three Stromberg carbs. Uh, we actually had them produced uh, in, 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 out of London, England. A guy who took the patent and we got the three ones and then this real custom uh, uh, um, housing for, 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 for it. And, and now this is uh, our exhaust. It looks like it actually the outtake and intake are all in the same, but the, the exhaust actually comes out right here is the hole, uh, which, uh, uh, and it does not really in interfere with the uh, performance of the motorcycle. Uh, uh, one of the major features here too is, is the paint job that Eddie Meeks did, which uh, I think in total it was uh, almost a couple hundred hours of, of paint work. There's this, the, the detail is so specific. One of the other nice features is we had Paul Cox do the seat, and what he did with his uh, leather work was uh, he actually matched the, uh, the, the paint uh, in, in, the, in the features. So uh, you can see right here the Celtic feature that uh, Eddie painted in is matched right on the seat. But we incorporated our uh, turquoise gemstones on the motorcycle. I would like to, that, to say that we actually, uh, it was our idea, but it was my wife's. And uh, it really gave it a nice appeal as we carried the gemstones all the way through from the, um, you know, from the tail of the bike all the way up. And even as we get into uh, 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 where, where, of course, your, your gas cap is. It's a great look. It will always uh, be, really stay current, and uh, most importantly, it also rides very well. Well, Simon, thanks a lot. Thank and you. now you know what a hundred thousand dollar bike build-off winner looks like. Thanks, Thank you, Bob.